Hey everyone, Jeff Bache here, and thank you for checking out one of my videos about the Gym Leader Challenge format. If you're interested in getting into the format, there's a couple things you'll need to know. First, Gym Leader Challenge is a monotype format, which means you have to pick one Pokemon type and build your deck around it. It's a singleton format, meaning that you can't play more than one card of the same name in your 60 card deck. Lastly, no rules box Pokemon are allowed, so you can't play any EX, V, V-Star, Radiant Pokemon, or the like. Gym Winter Challenge is definitely my favorite way to play the Pokemon TCG. If you're enjoying the content, I would appreciate it if you could take a second and like and subscribe to the channel. Every little bit goes a long way in helping the channel grow. Thank you and enjoy. But all right, Nitto Dark on our side of the table. Uh, you know, classic Dark style deck here. Uh, you know, Weezing, I've got Hoopa, and I've got Spiritomb as well. I'm playing Evital for the retreat. I think this card's pretty useful. But our, the main difference between our deck and other Dark decks is instead of going all in on a Guzzlord or a Crobat, which some decks like to do, or even the Poison um, decks that Dark also has access to, we're all in on these Nitto Queen and Nitto King, which Nitto King seems to be the star if you were to look at this deck from that perspective. Nitto King says that if Nitto Queen is in play, you can use its attack for free. Um, Venomous Impact does 190 and Poison. So kind of a busted attack, especially if you get to use it for two or for free. Um, its attack cost is two dark and two colors beyond that. So again, it seems like it's going to be the one taking all the prizes. 170 HP, it's a big beefy boy. But I think Nitto Queen is actually the, the star of this deck. And so Nitto Queen doesn't look exciting on the outside. First attack does 90, second attack does 160 for three energy, but the first attack is actually pretty relevant for what's going on, at least in the perceived meta of Gym Leader Challenge. So Queen's Press here, uh, Dark and a Colorless, 290 damage, but prevent all damage from basics. So if you have a Snorlax heavy meta, just play your Nidoqueen, Queen, and all of a sudden it's doing 90, and it can't be damaged, doing 90 and it can't be damaged. So I think this card is actually going to be the star, especially since you've got some basics in your deck that it might be able to blank. So yeah. that's what we got on our side of the table. Talk to us about Lightning Zone, Diddy. So it's think about like a Rain Dance-ish deck, but it's also wanting to work off of the Graveyard or the Discard Pile. Hmm. Uh, so Magna Zone is just a straight up Rain Dance effect. And then Flaffy and electric both have dynamotor which means you can play an energy from your discard pile um and that gives you kind of like two energy per turn um right you we got some really efficient uh luxray thunderous and regilecki are all very efficient attackers um and do a lot of damage for not a lot of energy um so you can kind of power them out and surprise your opponent it's not it's not hard to get two or three energy on a pokemon in one turn with this deck um, and then Raichu allows you to deal with the bench with his Electro Rain attack. Um, Zekum Streaka is definitely kind of like the backbone of the deck, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, discard your hand, draw four, which helps power up your Dynamotor and just gets you to your efficient attackers. Yeah, that Streaka I think is like public enemy number one when you're trying to deal with Lightning decks in general, just because that's their main discard outlet, that's their card advantage outlet. So on this side of the table, we're looking to take that out. Our engine is a trade life bar, like discard one, draw two. So we're not very efficient in the way that we're going to go about things. So protecting our draw engine is going to be important at all costs as well. So that's what we got. I'm excited. I'm, I don't know where this matchup is going to go. You know, we have Spear Tomb, which is kind of like a weak attacker into a Regieleki. It damages itself to do bigger damage, but we've got to make sure that we don't put it in range of Regieleki. And then Alolan Raichu is pretty scary too, because we've got some kind of dinky bench sitters at times so i think galarian wheezing's our main plan we'll go from there um, no basics no basics all right we're good we love that we get one mulligan here all right let's get going starting out with nidoran and the active female version Let's little Magnemite. All right. Um, well, we got some basic, but we have no energy. So I'm going to drop Perline and Zerua, and we are going to pass from here. Uh, we're going to Gloria. Okay, you're grabbing Tynamo off this Gloria. All right, 
Thunderous here as well. All right. It's a pretty reasonable start on like getting your Rain Dancer down, getting your Dynamotor and your Draw Engine all in play. Um, getting the Blissel out of the active is going to be importante. Oh, you're not a threat for a minute. What you think? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to discard this lightning energy to earth and vessel. Okay. Energy in the bin, two energy in hand. This is what lightning loves to do. Are you about to get agility? I'm going to try an agility. All right. And us. Flip them coins. And by that, I mean roll them dice. All right, can't be damaged, right? That's it. All right, draw for turn here. Unless you goose them out my town and <laughs> stomp on them. <laughs> All right, hey, not a, not a bad start here. Um, so I'm going to evolve into Zerork. Um, I'm going to use Level Ball, and I'm going to use Evolution Incense here. Um, let's grab Net Arena here. We're also going to grab Leopard. So this is off of our level ball. Leopard is off of our evolution incense. Now, I had half a mind to grab Nidorino and discard it to Leopard and then use Zoroark, which has the uh, Phantom Transformation ability to swap it with my Nidorino so I could have both stage ones in play. But I think we're okay waiting just because Nidorino has the uh, search your deck for three Pokemon ability as an attack. So that might actually be a pretty reasonable attack to use here as well. Um, how many cards you got in? Four. Four. And I know you have an energy in hand. Yeah, so I think we are... I've got my choice between Iono, Lysander, and In. Um, Similar. Yeah, so I think I just want to Iono here. Get these two cards to the bottom of my deck. Draw six fresh new ones. Um, so let's use Professor's Letter. Let's drop down Nidoran. Let's attach an energy to Knit Arena. Um, I'm going to also put down an Artisan. Let's use Artisan to go and search for a basic. It might be nice to have Evil Tall as a pivot since we're down all of our, what's the word I'm looking for? Retreat eights. Let's use Lyopard's trade ability. Let's discard Galarian Weezing and draw two cards here. Um, and then to end our turn, we're going to play Fetch, Family, Reveal, three Pokemon, and put them into my hand. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good attack. So we're going to grab, I think, Spiritomb. You know, actually, with Spiritomb kind of being a liability in this matchup, let's grab Hoopa. I think we'll just grab Nidoking and Nidoqueen. All right, and then we'll pass to you for that. Heavy ball action. All right. The Pikachu. All right, so we're going to quick ball. So for basic here with a full bench, makes me think that you have maybe potential Dynamiter play? Retreat. Mmm, Magnetic Charge. Rarely seen, rarely used. And we're going to Magnetic Charge onto Zorora. Okay. And pass. All right, we'll draw here. All right, so we got the Queen. Um, we got second energy. I'm going to play the Arv in here. And Arvin is going to get us an item and a tool. I think we're going to grab Evolution TM. I think that's our only other option at this point. And then I'm going to grab the Rare Candy because we got the King in hand. But we just need the Rare Candy off this Arvin. Sometimes Arvin's just good for exactly this play. So let's go Rare Candy into the King. So we got all of our things kind of active here. Let's discard TM Evolution to Iopard. We'll draw two. One, two. Um, things just keep getting better. Let's drop Koopa down. Koopa. And let's get going with some attacks. So we're going to Queen Press for 90 in the KO here. 
and then I can't be damaged by basics. We're gonna play our Luxray. Okay, Luxray is not a basic, so it can do damage <laughs> to our Nidoran. <laughs> Energy on Luxray. I'm gonna take back this Luxray energy. Okay. Put on the Pikachu. Then I'm gonna Clara. Ooh. Did you get back the Magamite too? Or leave it in the discard? Oh yeah, I want the Magamite, my bad. Thank you. Hey, no worries. I'm known for telling you how to beat me. Appreciate that. <laughs> Is it effects or just damage? Um, prevent all damage done by basics. All right. So you can still paralyze me with it if that was your game plan. That's my game plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. We're getting nuzzled. <laughs> We're getting nuzzled. No. <laughs> We're not getting nuzzled. <laughs> all right, draw. All right, uh, let's start with the trainer's mail here. Uh, look at the top four. One, two, three, and four. We would love a trainer's mail. Or not a trainer's mail. We would love a boss's order. But I think Parallel City is actually pretty great, Brutal. if I'm going to be honest. So we'll grab that. 100% um, playing the Parallel City. Just like immediately. Like, whop. Get them benched down. Um, so let's go energy onto Hoopa. And I think I want to save everything else. So we're going to Marnie here. We know you just clara so you had some some energy as well. Getting rid of that. That's all we could ever dream of. One, two, three, four, and five. Off the Marnie. Um, we're going to discard Ball Guy to Lipard here and draw two. That's kind of fun. But I think the only thing that we're scared of currently is the Alolan Raichu, to be honest. Am I even that scared? Um, so let's uh, Queen Press here for 90. Take another prize. All you after that. Go ahead and Field Blower. All right. Field Blower Parallel City to the discard bin. Did its work. Pretty happy with what it did. How do you feel about it, Tim? It's good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. <laughs> um, we're going to... Retreat. Put up Blitzel. Mm -hmm. And we're going to play Electric. All right. So we'll put energy here. And then we're going to Marty. Okay. We had Guzma. So we were definitely going to try to hit that Luxray with our Nido King here. No, Drew Buddy Puffin. A very awkward point in the game. <laughs> Still good. All right. Best card coming out of Temporal Forces, except on turn 17. Pollution Incense. Okay. It's not bad. Play Rescue Structure. All right. Not a bad turn. I feel like this turn could have gone real bad. You didn't have like a reasonable follow-up, but field blower into evolve all your support mons. Get some basics into play. Yeah, but they're gonna die, which is sad. Yeah, is that Trikus definitely gonna die? Well, I say definitely. We're still in energy short, I guess. Yeah, so we actually need to get a little bit of help here to take a KO, but just the tiniest bit of help. We actually don't need that much work. My hand's just real bad. Dynamotor. And we're gonna super run. I'm just gonna put one in there. Okay. And then this feels like Zeb Striker. We're gonna sprint. Reap. Play thunderous. Mm. Does he have an escape rope to save the Zeb Striker? He does not. Ooh. So you go. All right, we'll draw. All right. Is that a useless card? I think that card actually might be better off in our discard pile. So I'm going to use Leopard to start. We're going to discard Nidorino, and we're going to draw two cards. 
Oh, there's the energy. And there's town map. So let's review our prizes. Flip them. This is another point where the uh, Salvatore rule in was going to come to play. Now all of a sudden my prizes are public knowledge. So if I had something that could evolve into one of my prizes, mm -hmm. we both knew that I couldn't. And so it I wouldn't be able to do it. seems bad. It's a, it's a tough rule. It's bad. It's a tough rule. Um, so let's VS Seeker here. We got two cards in hand. Two. Um, do I actually want to VS Seeker then? Because all I've got are draw supporters for both sides. <laughs> I got Marnie and Iona. But I guess you always get four, right? That's true, yeah. So I guess let's just grab the Marnie. Although we are taking out your... Yeah. You know what? We're actually not going to be a Seeker. Let's, this is the right play. We're not going to be a Seeker. Even though we don't really have much of a follow-up, this will be fine. Um, so let's Nitto Queen here. We're going to lunge out. We'll take the KO. And I think we will take... I'm just killing my guys if we play, right? Yeah, but see, the issue that we have now is if you take out Nitto Queen, Nitto King isn't powered up. So I actually don't have a reasonable follow-up. Um, we can potentially get into a reasonable follow-up. Um, so I am going to grab, I think, just Hiding Energy here. And yeah, all you have to do that. VS Seeker. Oh no. Oh no. Is it the Guzma? The Discard Guzma? <laughs> don't do it to me, Teddy. Don't do it to me. Marnie. Okay. Maybe you've heard of her. No, our buddy popping. Energy. Play this Reggie Lucky. All right. Use Dynamotor. And Wild Charge. Yep, the other queen's down. Now oh, you're taking prizes. All right, we're gonna go up into free retreat, evil talk here, and we'll draw. Um, so we got like a pretty sweet play actually. But we will put energy on Zerwark, and we will go Raihan. Uh, this is the card I'm going to get and off of run. Damage on. Yeah, I would have wild charged this to him. Um, let's throw down Spirit Tomb here. I'm going to use Super Rod. I'm actually going to put Nido Queen and two energy. We're going to retreat into Hoopa here. And then I am going to ditch this Field Blower to lay apart here and draw two. And then we haven't attached an energy from hand this turn. We'll go ahead and use Zorork. And we are going to get the Needle Reno back into play. I will attach energy from hand to it, and then we're going to Assault Gate for 90 here. No. Yep, pretty reasonable. We gotta take another attack from this Luxray, unfortunately. It almost KOs itself for us, though. Almost. Um, we do discard. Okay. So yeah, so the energy, we're, we would have put the energy somewhere else then. If that was the case, the energy would have gone on to Evil Tall. We'll play Arden. Alright. This Air Balloon. And this Nest Ball. Rawr. All right, it was down. Another prize to you. Um, all right. I don't have a way to get more energy. Uh, actually, I do. 100%. We're going to go up into Nid Arena here and we'll draw. Because our card off of Raihan was we just got Pierce, which lets us get any energy. And it also lets us get a Pokemon. So there's Nid Queen. And there's energy. So, so there's our Queen Press attack. So big. Still scared about this Reggie Alecki, and so we're not going to put any energy <laughs> on our, our... No, we're not going to building spite our spirit team just yet. But I'm going to quick ball away, um, or trade away quick ball and draw two. All right, those are good cards to have in our hand. And then I am going to Queen Press for 90 yeah. in the KO. Yes, we'll take this energy. I don't think Floatstone or Coughing are very reasonable. 
Everything has one retreat or free besides the thing that attacks for 190 and free. So I doubt you're going to Kuzma up my Nidoking. king. <laughs> little flaffy action. Oh, all right. Double Dynamotor on the display. That means that Reggie like he can attack in. It can't damage Nidoking, queen, but it can put 40 on two places. I guess if you have a escape rope, you can still damage it while it's on the bench. Stormy Mountains. Strong it out. All right. <laughs> uh, rather ban Marsh Shadow than Snorlax. I think the one thing that's keeping Marsh Shadow from being banned is that oftentimes Marsh Shadowing on turn one also bricks you pretty poorly. Um, Agreed. That, and I say that, but I do it all the time because it feels right the majority of time to do it. Like, I've just gotten rid of all these cards in my hand and I'm drawing positively. Um, I, I think Marshad is a pretty toxic card in general. I think it might be fine for the format, but it's a pretty toxic card. It's poor Magnemite. Poor Magnemite. Go. All right, let's draw. All right, um, let's go ahead and build Spite here. I feel like we might need this Spirit Tomb to take an, a, a KO. Um, we didn't take a knockout last turn. You got how many cards in hand? Four. Four cards in hand. All of them. Are they all good? A little one right, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, we're going to discard <laughs> Buddy Pop in to trade away and draw two cards here. And then I'm going to use Cynthia and Caitlyn, and I'm going to discard in and get back. Maybe it's Raihan. Like, maybe we're going to try to attach four energy to Nidoking here. Yes. <laughs> um, let's put an energy on Nidoking. Let's, uh, we got to draw our three cards as well. So one, two, and three. Um, and then, yeah, we're just going to do the press thingy. The Queen's Press for KO. We'll take Floatstone here. Oh. There's the ride shoe. Too late. It might be too late. Um, too late. It's too late, and your Reggie Lucky didn't attack last turn. I think the Reggie Lucky, it needed like escape rope Reggie Lucky to be effective last turn. It just wasn't the case. We still got game two though. Nah. GG's. GG's. Hey, the king and queen taking it down. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I like I'm those together. A little impressed. That's cool. Um,